right, it's time to rank another soundtrack. And continuing on with the Sonic the Hedgehog series, we move on to Sonic 2 on the Sega Genesis. Like always, I'm just ranking the stage themes. So in this case, I'm just doing the 11 main zones. So no special stage, no boss theme, no title theme, no end credits. I'm also not doing the split-screen multiplayer alternate versions of Mystic Cave, Casino Night, and Emerald Hill, mainly because they're bonus levels, much like the special stage. Now, if anybody's wondering why I did include Death Egg Zone in this ranking, when I didn't include Final Zone in the last one, and both of them are essentially the same thing, not really much of a stage, but a final boss. Well, I mean, the big difference is Death Egg Zone has its own music. The stage is, you know, basically nothing, but it had its own music, whereas Final Zone was the boss theme. The boss battle itself didn't trigger its own music, so... Really, I just looked at that as the final boss, whereas this one has its own music before those boss themes kick in. So, so I kind of debated with myself what I would do with it, but I decided to include it, so there are 11 songs in this ranking. I will preface this like I always do, with the disclaimer that this list is just my opinion. It doesn't mean anything, and I encourage you to give me your opinion and your rankings and your thoughts on the soundtrack. So without wasting any more time, let's get on with the list. At number 11, Death Egg Zone. Just like I mentioned, there's not much of a stage here. You just walk for a second and bam, you're in the first of two main final bosses. So usually you're not gonna hear the whole song when you play this game unless you just stop to listen to it. And although it's very slow and kind of the opposite of what you would think a final stage would sound like, it is kind of cool. There's, I don't know, it just sounds kind of like a demented ballet. And there's some pretty cool layering that goes on where there's a second instrument playing on top of the main riff and doubling up, kind of building it. But at the same time, it kind of stays in one place. It's a fairly plain song, melodically. But it is interesting and different, but I just can't put it ahead of anything else on this list. Number 10, Casino Night Zone. It's a perfect fit for the stage. It really sounds like the perfect casino theme, but it doesn't really do much for me. There aren't any real parts of the song that I like a whole lot. I don't know, it's just kind of flat to me. But I will say that I do like the background organ stabs that are going on and there is something about it that kind of makes you you know snap your finger too but I just find that it ranks in the bottom tier of this soundtrack number nine hilltop zone this is I don't know I guess I could describe it as a cute song it has this charm to it it almost really it sounds like it should be associated with a very easy level one thing I like about it is the bass and that background, I don't know, I guess slide guitar effect that they're going for. I like how it kind of dances with the lead synth track. And in particular, I like the second half of the song as it gears up to getting back to the beginning of the loop. But I feel like it just doesn't have quite enough. There isn't really anything great about it that would pull it out of this number nine spot. Number eight, Wing Fortress Zone. This one stands out a lot amongst the rest of the soundtrack. It doesn't have a standard beat. It's mostly just the horns and banging away on these drums. There's a lot of empty space, which really makes the whole thing sound more dramatic, which is very effective considering, you know, you're getting toward the end of the game here. So it's unique. It's perfect for the spot that it's in. It's got some cool moments, but nothing spectacular at any point. Number seven, Metropolis Zone. I really love the percussion in this one and the miscellaneous sound effects like the record scratching and all those little bits that fill in all the gaps. It's a very catchy riff. It has a nice guitar sound that rings in the background. And there's a lot of energy behind this one. The only real weakness I'd say is that it doesn't change much throughout. 
and maybe you get tired of it a little bit more because it's the one three act zone in this game. But I'd say other than its lack of variety, it's a pretty strong song overall. Number six, Aquatic Ruin Zone. I love the intro to this one. The main verse is kind of a variation of that intro riff, and it works. But I do like the creepy vibe of the intro more, and it fits the whole theme of the dilapidated ruins more than the rest of the song. That being said, what really carries the song for me is the percussion. It is unpredictable and choppy and chaotic. I love when shit like that happens, where you're not really able to perfectly hum along with it or mimic. In this case, when it comes to, you know, drums, you're not humming the drums. But there's just a lot going on with this one. And I'm glad that the intro does get revisited when the song loops back to the beginning again. Number five, Sky Chase Zone. Now, I mentioned Hilltop Zone earlier, sounding like a song that belonged in a easier level, I guess. Sky Chase Zone is a lot like that, too. It sounds like a very safe haven type of a zone. It's very soothing. It's a change of pace, big time particularly coming off of Metropolis Zone, which is a great contrast as far as I'm concerned. That's just really good production. Whenever you're listening to an album and you're able to follow up a song that sounds very different from the last one, but it still flows and makes sense and works, that's kind of what you want to do for the most part throughout the whole sequencing. Of course, that's not what you do when you're putting the levels together, you're trying to come up with something that makes sense as far as continuity goes, and you know, here we're going to the sky level that leads right into the wing fortress level that leads into the spaceship death egg zone, so they weren't thinking anything about music as far as putting the zones in order or anything like that, but I just think that it's cool that in this case it really works. It's one of the more simple songs in the Sonic catalog, but this is a great example of how simplicity doesn't necessarily mean that it's not as good as something that's more complex. Number four, Oil Ocean Zone. The lead woodwind effect, kind of sounds like a wood flute, is quite awesome. It perfectly meshes with the rhythm section, which has a great lead in after the intro, and the bass line is brooding and kicking you in the face. It's got a lot of attack to it. And meanwhile, the lead melody is a little more soft. But there's still a haunting vibe that comes from all of it combined. It definitely has an eastern feel, but it's got a more western rhythm section. So. It's a really cool combination. And while it doesn't necessarily rock as much as a lot of Sonic tunes, it's definitely superior to a lot of them. Number three, Emerald Hill Zone. This is a perfect opening stage theme. It fits the traditional vibrant tropical paradise background of uh, stage one from a Sonic game. It fits that whole formula. The rhythm section is just awesome especially the groovy ass bass. I really like how the main riff is played for a couple measures and then it's played again with a softer, more subtle instrument choice for the next couple measures. It's played the exact same way but they're so different from each other. So one is attacking hard and stabby, while the other is warm and floaty. The song could have really just repeated itself over and over again with just these two parts, and it still would have been good. But a completely repetitive Sonic song? Yeah, that doesn't really exist. So of course there's a refrain, and it's also really good. It's just a great upbeat tune from front to back. Number two, Chemical Plant Zone. This is a standout track that a lot of people really like, and I can see why. Uh, the main riff is catchy as hell, 
And although it does repeat itself a lot, it doesn't get old. And it continuously piles on layers and builds up well. And then after the refrain, when it comes back into the verse again, it's actually different. Now we've got all these additional leads playing in the empty space of the riff. And also the horns sound great. Horns normally do sound really cheesy and poorly translated to synthesizer, but considering it's an early 90s Genesis translation, this actually sounds better than a lot of authentic synthesizer horn sounds. I mean, maybe it sounds better because it's being played against 16-bit sound waves and not the way an authentic synthesizer would sound against real live instruments. But either way, I'd say that it sounds pretty damn good. Number one, Mystic Cave Zone. I love the distorted, funky rhythm along with the synth. The middle section has a badass sequence. And then it has a perfect transition at the end to go back into the main verse. I will say that the stage itself probably would have worked a little bit better with a more haunting song, something that sounded a little closer to Oil Ocean rather than something so upbeat. But the song on its own is awesome. So that concludes this ranking. Here's a quick recap. Number 11 was Death Egg Zone. Number 10, Casino Night Zone. Number 9, Hilltop Zone. Number eight, Wing Fortress Zone. Number seven, Metropolis Zone. Number six, Aquatic Ruin Zone. Number five, Sky Chase Zone. Number four, Oil Ocean Zone. Number three, Emerald Hill Zone. Number two, Chemical Plant Zone. And number one, Mystic Cave Zone. So what did you think of this list? What is your opinion on the soundtrack, and what do you have for your own ranking of this soundtrack? So that will do it for this ranking, and I'll see you next time.